It was in the year 2012 that both Canon and Nikon decided to release what is known as affordable and entry-level full-frame cameras into the market. Canon's contribution to the market was Canon 6D and Nikon was D600. The Nikon has already undergone one iteration and we already have D610 in the market, but it's been 6 years since the Canon 6D has been upgraded. From what we know, the Canon 6D is due for an upgrade now and uh, most probably on the June 29th, the 6D Mark II will be released. So let's check out what to expect from the Canon 6D Mark II and what the rumor mills have to say. I had spent quite some time in September 2012 when the camera actually came out to the market and my first impression was not that great about the Canon 6D. Uh, as the name suggests, it was more of like a bridge or an entry level full frame camera and it lacked a lot of features that one could expect. It was a 20 megapixel full frame sensor and I think it probably had DG5 processor. One of the biggest drawback in the particular camera was its autofocus. With just 11 autofocus point and one cross type, it was absolutely a disaster to use it for sports or wildlife. So not many people opted for it. Even the low light uh, autofocus was uh, really bad and quite a lot of people who were doing wedding shoots and all those stuff avoided using it as a second camera and it was uh, not that well received in the market. Fast forward to 2017, uh, five years down the line. There are a lot of rumors that are getting uh, exchanged uh, regarding the 6D Mark II which is the upgraded version of the 6D and there are a lot of expectations from it uh, because we are talking about 2017 when there are cameras like A7S II which has a fantastic low light performance and the newly released Panasonic GH5 uh, which is one of the best cameras in the market for the price point of around $2000. Considering that the 6D is also under the same price packet of $2000, there is no doubt that the expectation is too high on the market and also considering that it's a full frame entry level camera, we got to see uh, what new things that Canon can put into the camera when they release it next. There are basically uh, about 3-4 to four points that I have which I personally am expecting in the new camera and I'll probably uh, share it with you now. Uh, to begin with the sensor definitely we are talking about 2017 and the sensor definitely needs an upgrade and even the processor uh, the initial or the original version of the camera came with a 20 megapixel sensor and dg5 processor so there is definitely an improvement required in the processor as well as the sensor considering it's an entry level uh, a camera we don't expect it to have a 36 or a 40 megapixel and compete with something like uh, a D810 or probably even of IDSR type of cameras but a reasonable uh, bump in resolution would definitely be acceptable for this type of camera. Second and most important thing that I am looking forward to in this particular camera is a huge improvement in autofocus. The, the previous version the autofocus was really a disaster and uh, considering that Canon has such a good reputation on the autofocus especially on the cameras like 70D and 80D and even the cinema lineup of cameras are getting uh, the dual pixel autofocus. Uh, it's high time that we start seeing the dual pixel autofocus being implemented in the 6D Mark II as well. The third important thing uh, that I am expecting in the 6D Mark II is uh, some sort of a flavor of 4K recording in the camera because uh, right now the market especially this $2000 uh, price segment all the cameras now come with at least a basic uh, 4K recording in 24, 25 or even 30 frames per second. Uh, we are not talking about high frame rates or even slow motion stuff. At least a basic 4K recording is something that will be most uh, expected in the 6D Mark II. Also that quite a lot of people are now uh, opting to use their SLR cameras even for blogging. So gone are the days when uh, people used to re rely only on their mobile phones or probably point and shoot cameras. Now people are even going forward to using their SLRs for uh, vlogging and that calls for the next uh, important change that we can expect in uh, the 6D Mark II which is the articulating screen. Keeping the weather ceiling aside, articulating screen is something that is uh, most expected in a 6D Mark II camera and this articulating screen should not be something in a, like the way they have implemented in the Sony camera. They should be at least in lines with what we get in a 70D or 80D. Uh, over the last few minutes I've been telling about uh, the price point which is $2000. So now that we have quite a few good cameras in the market around the $2000 mark, it'll be better if Canon can 
price of 60 mark to in a much more competitive way rather than push it in the 2000 dollar segment because uh, the body only sells for somewhere around 1400 to 1500 dollars right now and uh, that's about the price wherein there are a lot of good APS-C uh, 4k cameras also from other competitive uh, uh, manufacturers so in that way I would personally expect to see a slightly reduced uh, cost for the 60 mark 2 uh, definitely not the 2000 dollar price mark Moving forward, uh, most of you who follow Canon rumors for all the uh, information regarding the new cameras and lenses from Canon, um, the recently there has been a lot of uh, speculation about the specs around the 6D Mark II and I think right about yesterday there were uh, images that were released which uh, people claim are the ones related to the new or the um, production version of the 6D Mark II camera. So when I was having a look at the spec sheet and I was comparing with what I am expecting from that particular camera, a uh, few things that I notice or want to compare with what I spoke uh, just a while ago is uh, what is being rumored is that the camera will now come with a 26 megapixel sensor and it's a, a DG7 processor. I definitely welcome this change because uh, as I mentioned a while ago, processor is something which uh, required an update uh, in according to me and 26 megapixel and with a newer processor is definitely a welcome change. And uh, regarding the body size also, the Canon 60 comes with more of like our uh, APS-C 70D or a 60, uh, 80D kind of uh, body size. So I don't expect the body size to go up and there have been rumors that there might be a slight bump in the body size of the 6D. But that should not be a big deal breaker for quite a few people uh, because most folks uh, who are upgrading to the full frame market uh, if they can't pick up a 5D Mark III or a 5D Mark IV and they're coming from 80D or 70 type of camera then I think it's it's definitely uh, won't be a deal breaker for them and it, it feels comfortable in hand and I've used it personally the 6D Mark I and it, it feels nice so a minor change should not be a, a big issue. The biggest thing that has been floating around in the rumor market is about the autofocus. It's been now told that the new 6D Mark II will have 45 autofocus point and all of them cross type and adding to it it's a dual pixel autofocus which the Canon is pretty famous for and and no doubt about it it's the best autofocus available in the market and it's nice to see and it's a welcome change to have a dual pixel autofocus and more autofocus points especially the cross type in the 6D Mark II. One of the things that I found a bit disappointing from what I've seen in the specs so far is that the lack of 4K recording in the 6D Mark II. Uh, all the speculations uh, are being pointing to a full HD 60p recording and there is no news about any form of 4K recording in this camera. Now that we are talking about a time when every single camera comes out in the market has one or the other form of 4K recording and even the mobile phones are able to record uh, 4K. I think so Canon might have done a small mistake by not including 4K recording in this but having said that uh, we need to wait and watch for the actual camera announcement next week uh, to see if this is really the case and if uh, it has any impact on the people who are coming all the way from an APS-C uh, segment that as I told you 70D and 80D into the full frame market uh, in uh, the Canon and if they really miss that um, 4K recording when they compare it with the 5D Mark IV. Uh, regarding the aspect that I mentioned about articulating screen uh, from what we see in the uh, images that have been floating around in the rumors is that Canon 6D Mark II will in fact come with an articulating screen and that's definitely a promising and a welcome change I feel and uh, I don't think so there will be any, anyone who will be doing a render of a 6D with uh, an articulating screen and push it out into the market. So these do look genuine and definitely the articulating screen is something which I personally use in all of my cameras and even when I use uh, the ATD or anything uh, for specific purpose I definitely feel that the articulating screen is something which is a very useful feature in the cameras but that should not come out as a compromise uh, when it comes to weather sailing but hope at least there is a decent, decent amount of weather sailing in the Canon 6D Mark II uh, even with the implementation of the articulating screen. So the prices still point at around uh, $2000 or the $1999 uh, bracket which is a little bit surprising but um, having said that we need to see what is the kit lens that uh, Canon decides to uh, club it with because the body only will still be around 1300-1400 mark and uh, with the kit lens which I am expecting it to be a new, newer version of the 24-105 uh, uh, f4 lens but still um, 
without 4K, uh, this particular camera at $2,000 will be a little bit of a, a challenging uh, segment for Canon to attack on. The spec sheet uh, even point out the features like Wi-Fi, NFC and Bluetooth. Uh, for folks who don't know, uh, Canon 60 was one of the first camera in the US lineup which came with the Wi-Fi and even the GPS capability. There is no reference to the GPS feature in the new 60 Mark II spec sheet uh, that has been floating around. But uh, it, it's definitely welcome because quite a few people who use uh, this particular camera for remote shooting or any of the places where it's like probably used in overhead shots or combining it with a smartphone and using the smartphone to control the camera is definitely the thing that is expected. And I think Canon are acknowledging that very well. What I don't see in the spec sheet is the lack of a second SD card. Yes, uh, there is, uh, as of now, there is only reference to a single SD card support. A camera like uh, D600 from Nikon which came like 5 years back had a dual SD card support and uh, most of the newer generation cameras do come with dual SD card including the GH5. Uh, it's, it'll be a bit surprising to see why Canon didn't go for a dual SD card support on the new camera. But again until the final specs are out next week we are not sure whether this is really the case or Canon has actually managed to put in uh, dual SD card support on the 6D camera. One key thing that I noticed in the spec sheet is the presence of uh, HDR video mode. Uh, this is one mode which I have even noticed even in the ATD camera and uh, it's probably even expected in the GH5 in the coming months uh, in the firmware upgrade. I'm not too sure what much to expect from this HDR video mode or how much of a use it will be uh, will it be something which people will be using uh, who does not require any sort of editing or it's more of like a quick consumption videos uh, but this is something which I would probably would like to see how a full frame sensor handles the HDR video and also probably compare it with what GH5 might offer or probably even what is currently being implemented in a ATD camera from Canon. So that's probably it and uh, June 29th is what they are saying is a launch date for Canon 6D Mark II. I'll be looking forward to the announcement and uh, provided I given a chance I would probably even pick up a camera and try it out for a few days and I would let you know what are my initial thoughts on it. For the folks who have not seen it I'll probably be linking the video which I did uh, with the 6D Mark I camera the day it came out here in India uh, at the end of this video and I'll probably even link it in the show notes below. Please have a look at it and let me know what is that you are expecting from an entry level full frame camera and if you are a 60 user yourself or probably somebody from Nikon who is using D600 or D610 what is that change that will help you or probably make up your mind to move into the 6D Mark II let me know in the uh, comment section below and I will definitely be interested in looking forward to what are your thoughts about the 6D Mark II. So this is me Shiv signing off from technology. And I'll see you again in the next one. But three key things as always. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And comment if you want to say something. And most importantly, keep smiling.